Okay, so time change, people change, kinds of video also changes. Just like that, Sam Coulter's style of editing has also changed with time. Crazy transitions, crazy video efforts and all those kind of stuff in his videos. But right now, what kind of videos he is making on YouTube is more story based, more content like based and more like more natural and something which makes much more sense than normal cinematic video which are much more visually appealing. So recently, I guess yesterday or day before yesterday, he posted this video, Travel Alberta where he showed his daily vlog style video as a cinematic video. And nevertheless, I am always excited to watch Sam Kohler's video, just like any kind of videos which he ever posted on YouTube. Maybe it is like most story based right now, compared to the cinematic ones which he used to post before. But nevertheless, everyone evolves with time. Everyone evolves with time, their editing style evolves with time. So in this video, I'm going to show one effect, one blanket transition, which Sam Kohler showed in that particular video. Other than that, all the other effects are more or less similar to all the tutorials I made, mainly speed ramping, mainly slow motions and all those other stuff. But the story is the main content of the whole video. So there are not much transitions for me to actually make a video on. There was only one transition, the blanket transition. I'll call it the blanket transition because I am very bad at naming. Actually, it's pretty simple to make this particular effort and it is similar to all the efforts which Sam Kohler does when it comes to Sam Kohler's video editing style, keying and masking are some of his most important aspects. So I'm going to show this particular effect using the footage of Sam Kohler only. So doing this effort is pretty simple, all you need to do is just have a blanket and similar to Sam Kohler you can just wear it or what you can do is you can just swirl it around your lens, make sure that the blanket covers the entire lens so that the entire lens is covered and then remove the blanket so that we can mask out that particular portion and then we can transition it to the next clip. And that is pretty much simple. So you can just use a similar kind of clip which Sam Kohler used, you wear a blanket, swirl it around your lens and then show the background and then wear it and you can walk away like a normal video and that is pretty much it. So I have showed this effect for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Final Cut Pro, skip to this portion. And if you have come for Premiere Pro, then skip to this portion. With that being said, what's up guys, Priscil Sammy here. Welcome to my newest video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show for Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to use the same footage as Sam Kohler's video. So this is that particular footage. The blanket should cover the entire screen just like this. I'm going to find that particular position where the blanket just is visible. And use the blade tool to cut that portion. And I'm going to remove all the unnecessary portions from the video just like this. And drag the second clip over that, like the blanket one over that clip. And this is that particular position where the blanket just fills the entire screen and there is no need for that particular area. Like it is the next part of the clip. So you don't need to mask that particular position. Now duplicate this particular clip and place it on top of another. And reduce the size of the screen. It is up to you if you want to do it. Go to the FS panel, type in mask. Drag the draw mask onto the upper clip. Now you can make points on the portion which is not the blanket portion so this is it increase the feather as you feel like we are doing this so that we can see which portions are masked out properly and with each and every frame now what you are going to do is we are going to invert the mask and the reason why we are doing it in two layers it is because as we go frame by frame we are not able to see which is the portion which is the portion of the blanket in that particular clip like you don't have any idea where the blanket actually covers so you need to just play with the masking points and see where the blanket portion is actually there but instead of doing that you can just copy the layer once and you can see the blanket below that layer and you can mask out accordingly and then delete that particular layer now set a keyframe to the control point and to the transform position go to an S frame update the mask go to an S frame update the mask again and keep on doing this until the entire blanket fills the entire screen. That is what this effect is actually about. The blanket should cover the entire screen and keep on doing it frame by frame because the better this masking effect will be, the better this effect will look. So make sure to take your own time, take more points because the more points you take, 
the better the masking will be and the better this effect will look and we are here at the ending of the clip so the entire masking is done and now we are going to delete the below layer as i said before and your entire effect is ready you can play with the feather if you don't like it and that is pretty much it add proper sound effect you can add a flag sound effect to this particular video you can add proper sound design proper background music and it is pretty much done Now I am going to show for Premiere Pro. So this is the footage I am going to use. I am going to use the same video footage as Sam Colder. So this is another footage from Sam Colder's video and this is the footage where the effect is shown. So I am going to find that particular point where the flag is just visible like here and drag it above the main layer. And I am going to find that position where the flag covers the entire screen right here and place a marker. and drag it on the left hand side and then copy it once above it copy the layer once above it but before that we are going to change the size of the screen and copy the layer once then go to the opacity panel go to the pen tool in the opacity panel and draw a mask around the other portion where the flag is not visible and you can take as many points as many points for the masking as you can because the better the more points the better this effect will look and the better this masking will be done but the more points you take the slower the process will be but the result will be far more better now set a keyframe to the mask path and then go to the next frame and update the mask and as you can see when you go to the next frame you can see actually which part is actually needed to be masked out it is because we have copied the layer twice and we have made two layers for that particular effect so that we can see the masking see which portions of the blanket we need to mask out from the layer which is below it and that is the reason we are using two layers because if you don't use two layers then we are going to update the mask but we won't be able to see in the next frame where the portion of the blanket actually covers the screen so that is the reason we are going to use two layers and then delete the lower layer and we will have only the upper layer and make sure to do this effect frame by frame because the better the accurate the masking is the better this effect will look now delete the lower layer so that is pretty much it so as you can see it is just the opposite of the masking so we are going to just click on invert mask from the opacity panel and that is pretty much it you can play with the feather if you feel like you can increase the feather just like this and it is pretty much done add proper sound effects as proper sound of a blanket transition with proper music and all and your effect is totally ready Thank you so much for watching guys hope you would like my video so if you are into cinematography filmmaking videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff i do in my channel the free stuff the transitions the plugins the alerts the tutorials and all those other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the post notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time i make a new video so let's just join our hands and make this family make this community as big as we can and if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos for the later videos for the future videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all those other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace <laughs>